What's going on everybody? Today we got a Adventure in Forgotten Realms pre-release kit and two draft boosters. Ah, uh, I got it from a local card shop. They, because they can't hold events, they are like, yeah, we'll give two extra boosters out with the pre-release kit. So let's see what comes in this. So the last couple pre-release kits I got, which were Keldheim and Strixhaven, they had boxes like this, whereas this one's got this. I think this is the older style. I didn't really do any pre-releases back before uh, Keldheim there. But it's supposed to come with quite a few things. That actually got my hopes up for a second there, that I actually got something cool. What's this at the bottom? That is a piece of cardboard. Alright, there's the dice. It's very plain. Set logo. Alright, what do we got here? What is this? Guide to Dungeons. Alright. Got a sh nice shiny goblin token with a dungeon on the back. A couple more. I'll have to read about how those work exactly. Those are not showing up in the thing. Alright, so those are the dungeons I got. The foil, I like it. Adult Gold Dragon, that is my uh, pre release promo card. Neat. divider and the part that actually anybody cares about packs so like I said I got two extra so there's eight total I really like the way this set looks based on the D&D stuff it looks uh, pretty good all right get to the stuff people care about that is the showcase for these set I will pull those out uh, that's the style for the showcase of these sets anyway I don't know if there's any uncommons that are worth anything so we'll just skip them for now three is there four nope oh, just three uncommons a rare froggy moth oh the lands have flavor text I like that I'm guessing I'm wondering if the tokens are all going to come with Different um, dungeons on them. Just put that in there, I guess. Alright, no, next pack. I haven't looked too much into the set to see what's worth anything, so. Yeah. Ooh, I see a foil in the back. Looks like a land, though. Oh! A jelly in the, or sorry, a rare is a, I believe that, I don't know what they actually call in this set, but showcase. Foil forest, and then another forest. The exact same one, too. Disappointing, but alright. No, this one does not have a dungeon. Alright. Next pick. foil there that was smart and we got two of the showcase things in a row cave of the frost dragon wonder if i can find some friends there probably not i, I do like that these all have flavor text on them all right number four Already halfway there. I'm kind of changing up the style of my videos here because no one wants me to read all this garbage at the front. People only care about the rare in the back. Ooh. I do care about those though. Dungeon map. Nice. Okay, there is a rare land and a treasure token. Ah, sorcerer class. So they made enchantments that are similar to sagas but also have that level up mechanic it's really odd but interesting number five 
I read that as sliver, not silver. Gelatinous cube is the rare. Where's his brother? I saw his brother here. There's his brother. And we got an. Is that the exact same one I got? Is that. Did I get three annihilation ones? Three annihilation dungeons? Because I got it here, here. And I believe that was the first one I also pulled was an annihilation dungeon. Yep, two minute annihilation. It's crazy. Number six. Hey, a different one. Skeletal swarming is the rare, and we got a foil. Just a ghoul, though. Dancing sword. Man, I can finally have a dancing partner. That's fantastic. Does it have anything on the back? Nope. Last one. Alright, let's see if I can get anything really nice out of here. I'm hoping to get Xanathar, but I highly doubt that'll happen. Team Matt would be also really cool. What's on the other side of this goblin? Hey, another dungeon. Hey, I'll take that though. Doesn't look like I did because I just messed up moving all those. Alright, um, Instrument of the Bards. I don't know if that's any good at all, but it's a legendary artifact, so it's got to be good, right? That's how that works? I'm sure that's how that works. Alright, um, I like this set a lot. Not as much as at Keldheim, and I know Keldheim, people really didn't like a lot, which I thought was really odd. Because it was kind of a thing people have been asking for for a long time. But it's really cool, though, that, you know, they're pairing up with all these other franchises and doing sets now. That's uh, really cool. But, hey, if you like the video, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully shortly. And maybe I'll finish opening a Strixhaven box that I started a video on and haven't finished. Maybe. Bye.